took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile cause in my heart it's not worthwhile it's a bloody battlefield where some go down on the sea in the end it's all the same all you can do is play the game I'm too sad to say I'm sorry, so lie and pretend that you're okay, swear that you will stay, keep trying for one day.
ride or die. I keep wave on my side. CJ act. Now I got a roll with ice. It's cold. These brothers, my guys. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. I keep wave on my side. CJ act. Now I got a roll with ice. It's ride or die. Let's get cracking, boys. So that brings us to the map of Consulate. Yes, it does. So now, what's your opinion on Consulate Civic? Uh, I think it's evolved a fair bit. Like, it used to be very much, you take admin, you push, like, it, it used to, the meta used to be very stable. But yeah. I think it's sort of changed in the last six months. It's been good. I think it's good for the map. It's probably the most... It's my favorite map, I think, at this point. Now, what do you think caused that shift in meta? Is it the op ops? Yeah, I think I, I think just the denial of Intel. The Intel meta at the moment. It's also very vertical, this map. Most of the floors are destructible. Yeah. A lot of it. Um, but yeah. <gasps> um, Blackbeard! <for> me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, I'm interested... That Fatu got banned and not Maverick. Maverick yeah. is a lot stronger of an operator on this map than Fatu, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I think Fatu is just a default ban for a lot of teams. <laughs> it's it's just it's just one of those operators that it, it, he enables such a different gameplay style on the defense if he's gone. Yeah, Valk's a very common ban for this map, particularly uh, when IQ is not banned. So for Valk to be taken out. Still interesting to see the sexy milkling goes for the Blackbeard man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's just they hate the Yanks or. But. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, they. Uh, the Blackbeard. I guess they've just maybe played, played against the Blackbeard a bit few too many times in ranked. They just don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to deal with it. Um, but I can't imagine Shadow's two phase with that. <laughs> Uh, now, they've kept the mirror in play. Do you guys reckon the mirror's going to get played? Unlikely. Uh, possibly on a I basement, don't... but I don't think either team have spent the time to develop mirror strats because she's just so commonly banned. Uh, I reckon maybe see it twice. 
twice. Yeah, for, that. <laughs> for the whole game. Okay, well, we'll keep you to that. Starting off with the console defense, it'll be good to see. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs. These guys as they first set up. <clears throat> Coming in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the lads. They seem to be doing some. I, I imagine this will be a smoke hold on yellow. Um. Yeah. Although it's interesting. Like a, sorry. It's looking like a typical standard defense. <laughs> interesting. The layout. Yeah. Not anything too fancy coming out at the moment. It is interesting on the yellow stairs here. You've only got the one ADS. Which leaves smoke fairly, um, fairly open exposed. to being, yeah, exposed to being just flushed out of that very quickly. Yeah, two flashbangs and you're gone. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's interesting to see the oh max <laughs> AFK to start with. Um, um, yeah, it's interesting to see the Ella coming out to play. In my like, yeah, I, I think Ella has. With, with her uh, buff coming out at the start of the season, I think a lot of people were very excited to get her back into strats as quickly as possible. So I think we're seeing a bit of way over from that. Um, well, she has a strong gun. She has barb. I'm yeah, directing. barbed and shield, which shield. will be and very shield. helpful. And her gadget is also really good with intel. Like, you can <laughs> hear them coming pretty easily. Pulse down below here in v uh, below Visa. Uh, will be interesting because they'll have all the intel on the sledge uh, coming up into copy. That pulse is also a six pick, so the attacking team probably doesn't even know they have a pulse. Yeah, and they haven't got the IQ to check it, so um, it's probably good use to keep them down there. That first nade by Muddy getting caught up by an ADS to save the Ella, but Muddy looking to just contest it heads up. Burn. Second aid coming out. Aid just picking up the kill. Now they know there's a pulse there with the C4. Muddy getting off that Ella uh, with a second aid. Yeah, you're now caught in the crossfire, but it manages to get away. So the Ella was definitely committed to that hold. The ADS was burnt and he still sat there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, the problem is, is I think she just probably felt there was nothing, nowhere to go. Um, which is very, the risk with that position is that when you fall back, you've got very little option. With the Aegis spotted out now, they'll start to collapse on this long desk position. The Lyric going down on the bent, on the outside. Balcony. Fax pushing in for the refrag on the Doom. Big Fax right there. <laughs> Off here, able to self revive. Plant coming down from spades. Fax laying down cover fire to try and get this plant down and secured with 3 4 left on the board. Yeah, health so advantage. Packed up very heavily. Yeah, the health advantage is still in the favor of Shadownet, but they really need to make a move quickly. Person smokes playing close, but he gets shut down by the Hibana. Defenders have located this play there by Smoke. Too aggressive, but no intel. Hibana just picking up all three <laughs> as she oh, just oh. walks into the long desk position. Yeah, I personally think the Ally play there was a uh, strategic short sightedness. Yeah, I would agree Potent with that. If had he picked uh, or Mlade with the shield still available in play, he would have been uh, just survived a more a waste of more time to the minimum bare minimum. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, uh, I think we got a mirror play coming out right now. Gonna be a six pick in. You reckon? <laughs> yep. <sighs> or oh, who do you think six picking though? A a Aegis. Aegis? You calling it? Yep. Still mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think so. I think Ooh. I think they're going for a deep top floor roam on the alibi and holding the Goyo <coughs> on site, enjoying those last uh, the three shields while he has it. He, he definitely played. He picked it, then he got off it. Now he's going to sing it back to the Aiden got debated. 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 The next yeah. time they come down here, I'm calling it though. Mirror. Okay. Well, I think for right now, I think they'll be doing a deep top floor roam 
Oh, with this alibi. It'll be interesting to see if Fax gets used up this time because last round I don't believe he used Ebony's scans to his full potential. Yeah, no, I. I yeah. He, he definitely was AFK at the start of the round, so that might have come into <laughs> why he didn't get a scan down. Yes, he's got to check Discord for the strats on attack, but yeah, bringing out the mute up top floor um, will slow down the drones. Five, definitely. Um, interestingly, they're reinforcing the hatch, so they may not be going for the top floor room. Yep. Now, I think the mute is bringing the MP5K. If I'm... Yeah, he is. It's a very overlooked gun. It's got decent amount of damage, decent good fire rate, actually higher damage than Dox MP5. So oh, really? From what I've seen from Shadow Nest, they're normally a heavy on site with maybe one or two very close to site. They don't really do many very extended holes. Yeah, the Shadow Net need a. Um, I've got this person playing close on the windows. I imagine that's for the repelling player when they try to get the uh, K charges off the wall. Interestingly, they they haven't adapted to an IQ, which means that you don't have the capacity. You have to open up the holes to be able to shoot off the packs having a moment there to with the global cam, bulletproof cam. Sorry, um, but you have to actually open them up, which. As, F as Emzo, I believe it is, says, holes work both ways, and it can be very risky if you don't have full top floor control first. Indeed. Um, to have those. It's interesting for the lo attacking lineup, not going with an IQ. Now, what do you, do you have any reason do you think that can, that, that just may be? Uh, I think at, at this point, it, at this level, there's a lot of teams that just don't adapt. They'll have their five ops that they want to attack with, and they'll just keep it. Um, I think we saw someone flanking up East Stairs, which could be a problem for, uh, Visa Stairs, sorry. Could be a problem for Sexy if they don't pick that up. Uh, but it seems like Ash is... Here's someone coming up. The Doom down in Visa. Also to see drones not being utilised to its full potential, which was Fax still have two in his pocket. Yeah. They have... I think it's more of a, a scare tactic, bring the jackal. It probably might will keep Shadownet from roaming as much if they think they're still... Uh, Lyric picking up that vertical kill. Saban knows someone's here, but can't exactly identify where. And getting shut down there by the mute by not seeing it through the reticle. Tempest and Aegis picking up a kill there, making it a 3v4. They're really going to have to act quickly now with only 30 seconds left to go. They did well to clear out top and second floor, leaving them a minute uh, left to attack. But with two dead, they're going to have to play very aggressively. And that aggression hasn't paid off as Fax goes down to the Jaeger. And just the quick drop down the hatch does not pay off either. <laughs> what is Lyric thinking there? And Hibana picks up one, but it's probably... Oh, picks up two. But it's going to be impactless as Alibi shuts it down. Yeah, I'm not sure, AV, but that hatch drop isn't really the play, is it? How, how low can you go? I mean, you can get people off guard by doing it, because no one really expects just to drop down the hatch. Yeah, I just... <sighs> Do you reckon this is going to be the same hold for top floor? Uh, More or less, I believe. Yeah. But I think they'll... Oh, Mozzie coming I think Net might be a little bit smarter with it. Hmm. Yeah, I think they'll deny more intel towards the admin side, seeing how the thing's going. And they'll be more aware of the pulse, potential pulse coming in. Yeah. But... They're speaking off the Mozzie to the pulse, though, it seems. Yeah. And yes, it does. So it'll be the same strat. The question is the Ella, really. I think if Ella can find a way to fall off that position when her ADS gets burned, um, they'll have a lot more success on this strat. But well, she, she either falls off or be hyper aggressive, and as the sledge tries to nade, she yeah. can cut the sledge down. Looks yeah. like the Ella's taking a break in the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just making sure that the strat that she did two rounds ago, she knows for certain. Um, <laughs> but. Absolutely. She she needs to either play hyper aggressive or just fall off. The problem is, is that if you remember last time, right as the sledge was the Hibana was there to flash out the ADS, um, 
so the, the Hibana would have been holding the angle. So uh, Ella's uh, V6 is not careful. Oh, Ella's still AFK? <laughs> yep, whole round started a still <laughs> AFK. Enough at Matthew Ben. <laughs> yes. But I love, love to see it. Love band oh. waves. They're not. It's, they're just. <laughs> finally good to see Battle uh, Battlenet doing its. Battlenet? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Eye. Battle Eye doing its job <laughs> for once. But interestingly, Ellen's still sat here. Lyric getting taken out. Uh, Tem Lyric taking out Tempest, sorry. And yeah, Jackal picking finally up the Ella. Track. Tracking the. Pulse. pulse. Yep, double checking that it is a pulse. <laughs> and that pulse is going to leg it upstairs playing connector. But with Ella unreinforcing, not reinforcing that connector wall, that connector is very difficult to play in. Especially with Zofia having her explosive charges uh, to be able to open that right up. Right now, Shadownet's in a very tough position. Interesting placement of those exothermic. Exo uh, Kairos there trying to breach her window, but. Probably leaks that question mark? Yeah. yeah Saber picking up a, a third of the round. Aegis refragging onto spades with C4, but with Jaeger real low, uh, <laughs> Saber refrags Fax. But now in a 3v1, it's Is all up Canadian? to the boss. <laughs> Can he make a Canadian play? Nah. He doesn't. Nah. Nah. <laughs> in, in a 3v1 with the UMP, it's very difficult to make that play. UMP versus R4C, and he's just not. Um... I'd like to quote our favourite Canadian player. <laughs> the worst gun in the game. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't the F2. <laughs> no. <laughs> um... what I'm facing against. Um. But they're trying it again. V6, still AFK, it seems. Um, Are they going to call they, a rehost? Uh, What's going on? I guess they're not. Have to call a rehost, maybe? They can, they should, they know they can call a rehost, I'm certain. Yeah. You get As, two timeouts per game, each team, I believe, in LPL rules, isn't it? Um, I think you can call, like, it, it, a technical difficulty. I think you can call for one, but a technical, like, breakdown doesn't count as one i don't think i think there's like a specific uh rule regarding it but either way v6 is just sitting here afk and it's essentially a 4v5 for shadow net which makes it very difficult uh well, for shadow net to fulfill their strats when sexy realized i was an afk player yeah and lyric went straight in there killed and got another kill i wonder yeah. if they're gonna be that aggressive again it, it, Out it, comes it, the uh, pizza man. <laughs> yes. Can we please see that glorious skin? Bloody hell. <laughs> Jeez, I'm making myself hungry. <laughs> now, Civic, what's your favorite pizza? Ah, uh, meat lovers. All the way. As much meat as possible. Sorry, vegetarians, but... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta clean it up. Lyric Dude, loving his position, A just getting the first pick onto his teammate, making sure that uh, Lyric doesn't get the credit there. So he doesn't get the stab. Shadownet emptying it out to half to um, onto Fax uh, to make it a 4 4. So that's the Jackal out of play now, so they can roam a little bit more freely. Yeah. Interestingly, they've called back um, A just off the pulse, off the deep floor roam. Unaware of your angles there, Smoke. You gotta know that people are on that, those console windows and to not just walk past it. Ash pushing aggressively up um, behind the drone. They have now yellow stairs control. This is massive for the defense. And with um, those walls reinforced in uh, bathroom, Hibana is able to easily uh, just walk in. There is the Jaeger. Uh, sorry. Mozzie went for a visa rotate. I thought he was going to come up um, behind them, but Saber shuts down uh, Sniper 
and Aegis as it becomes a 3v1 uh, again. But this time, Doom has the R4C, uh, not the R4C, sorry, the Jaeger's gun, but it's not enough. The 416? The 416. There's <laughs> too many numbers. <laughs> it's a fragger's gun, it's a fragger's gun. <laughs> but with Muddy holding the angle, he just can't, can't find anything uh, impact. Personally, I think um, the way the Shadow Net's defending very passively on site is hurting them. Yeah, Against absolutely. a very aggressive team. Like, well, they're also playing a 4v5 at the moment. <laughs> yes. So oh, really... oh, and here we oh, go. V6 is back. And he's actively picked it off. You be reckon it'll be a 6? We're going to try and bait them for a console. I, could, they could go back to their alibi, um, which worked for them last time. <laughs> so the Goyo's coming out off the Maestro. So yeah, last time. Yeah. Sorry, when they defended downstairs, they play. They go for, went for more map with the defenders. Went all on site. They did lurk and roam and went for the late round flank a bit more. Mm. They like they made the attackers fight for every bit of ground con map control. Yeah, they need to really. I think that's the biggest problem with Shadow Nets um, strats at the moment is that they don't have that top floor that like expanded presence that we see a lot of the top tier teams employ yeah. um that kind of have a, a layered defense where you push a little and then fall back push a little and then fall back and it becomes a game of attrition for time uh by the time you get to site a great example of that is tsm's cafe map if you watch that yeah the latest tsm achieve merc just works so well on the cafe they go to peak, they get down, injure someone, they just drop. They drop floor, they have three floors, all the stairs to work with. They yeah. play that so well. Well, with yeah. a map like this, you don't necessarily have to take the gunfight. As long as you're showing presence up there, so the attacking team has to acknowledge it, they have to drone it out, they have to take the time to clear it. Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of like a Clubhouse. I've seen a few games now that a lot of teams just toss a mozzie drone on connect uh, construction doorway from cash and it forces the entire attack to rotate up there and drone it out effect fully before um pushing down or even mute like you could take two mutes and put them on either stairs going up not spiral and now yeah. wait so much more time because i'd have to go up and clear the mute charges ella unaware that that angle has been opened up but willing to stay there nonetheless i'll be picking up the first kill onto lyric that's the Zofia in the one of the uh, points of the sexy spear. Can't want to rest the lyric, acknowledging the skill of the shot. And with Ella now falling back down the hatch and holding sight, uh, Spades is getting lit up. Uh, Spades really needs to stay alive here, which is the only hard reach. Um, so I'm very interested that they keep bringing a sledge every round. In my opinion, a buck would be way more efficient and also helpful. Absolutely. I think... But they, they might just be preparing for the uh, loss of nade. Yeah, I think... Uh, ooh. And there goes the sledge. <laughs> Either way. Um, but I think the, the benefit of sledge is really going to be those nades. When you don't have access to them on buck it really means that you have to take the gunfights, every gunfight that you want, every off person that you want to push out, you have to contest them, heads up. And that's not something you want to be forced to do <laughs> on a map like this. Uh, speaking of um, Buck losing in his nades, can we potentially see more of a sledge shotgun SMG combo next season? Absolutely. Next Absolutely. Or oh, Spades, unaware of the TCSG behind White Van. That call out now coming out, but just... Now it's getting shut out, shut down completely, and finally, it's a three v one in in favor of Shadownet. It's amazing how much that one player makes a difference. Milkman also opting not to bring a thermite at all. Yeah, it's it's an interesting decision to rely on the Hibana because it forces you to funnel in such tight corners. Ooh. Seconds remaining. Here's the drop from the Goyo. Which is around pre-fires. Oh no, from the Ella, sorry. But Ella's gun just rips him to shreds. Ella's gun's a bit of a pea shooter at range, but at close at it, close like this. Um, it's just that fire rate. Yeah, the rate of fire just 
turns uh, anything uh, into Swiss cheese. I think the milkman got the priorities wrong on this attack. They still left well, how many shields on site before even trying to push it. They wasted yeah. way too many times just walking around first force. They floor. bring the Zophir, they bring the Ash, they bring mm. the Sledge, so they had how much? A lot of yeah. utility they could have used. But no, no shields was broken. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, what Sexy really should have... Kali, interestingly, um, possibly six pick. But what they really should be doing on that Zofia is bringing um, breaching charges and just getting those breaching charges down quickly and letting Sledge peek them and then Zofia swinging around um, or even Zofia peeking them. But we're going to see a Teller's defense. Um, I'm quite a fan of this side. Yeah. Um, sorry, gents, I have to go now, but oh, best of luck and all the best with this. Yeah, good luck, man. Good luck. I'll try to join you guys next time. Yeah, for sure. See you around. See ya. See ya. So, uh, Capcan in play. You don't really see a Capcan. Not commonly. It, it's, it's one of those operators that, in ranked, statistically, has a really high win rate uh, for the amount of times it is played. But... Yeah. No one's really expecting a captain to always... <laughs> Precisely. It's like Frost has a really high win rate and kill rate in high plat because no one in high plat on Diamond is watching for Frost mats. Um, so, it's just one of those scenes that I think almost a pocket... Like Shadow was doing a very extended hold down below. Yeah, it seems like the, using the pulse, uh, spreading out their operators as much as possible and using this pulse to, to kind of direct where they're going to be sending their uh, manpower. Looks like Sexy's looking for a garage push downstairs. Garage really is the site to take. If you're going to attack this site, you want a hard push below because that bottom site is very easy to hold hatch drops um, and the one hallway that both staircases fall into. Muddy though getting injured uh, by a teammate it seems. Um, oh, no, that was... That was those Capcan traps, I think, that got Muddy and Spades and Fax all down to below half health. Another thing, uh, Internet do not have a Jaeger. The attackers yeah. do have four nades. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to be three at the moment, but it will be interesting to see when it comes to executing on site uh, how much those nades are used to their full effect. At this point, Shadownet should know that the attack's going to be coming out from below and Jackal getting shut down to begin with from the Capcan. Capcan taking a little bit of damage, uh, but not nearly enough to be too concerned about at this point. Buck looking to do a flank top floor. Vex V6 making up for the times that he was AFK and Capcan picking up his second. We had a little laugh about the Capcan, but what, three people he took under half, then he took also a kill? Got two very kills, effective. I believe. Yeah, two kills, so very effective with the Capcan. Yes, and it's precisely why no one's looking for Capcans. <laughs> and you see the person flanking down below, and Shadownet shut down with flawless round. They the 3-3 three, three going into the half. So that round, it just looked like Milkman didn't know how to attack. Absolutely. Like, they got... So they took garage, they got into the garage, and from there, they just funneled and just died from yeah, it looked sort of your, co your common angle hold. And I think it was almost like after those first two big cap cans went off and took out almost half of the team's health, it seemed like they were just afraid to walk through a doorway, which is not the mindset that you need to be in if you're going to be the attacking team. But as we go to the half-half split, 3-3 um, three, three split of the half, uh... Where do you think who who do you think won that that half? Um, at the start it was going milkman, but towards the end I thought Shadownet was bringing it back. They were contesting better. Uh, yeah. Having a player not be AFK also was helping them. Absolutely, I think. You got, you got to remember, two of them rounds that Shadownet lost. They were playing a four v five. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be the big thing to see. Um. Uh. Sexy are going to really have to pick it up in this second half if they want to show that they deserve that top spot as they're well, contesting. Shadownet have all the momentum right now. Absolutely. 1-3, so then Shadownet bring it back to 3-3, so really good on their end. This is a top floor hold, is it not? 
Yeah, so Spades is gonna be opening that up so they're caught until the run out. So oh. they either have to have someone watching the run out or they just have to ignore it. Or oh, place a nomad charge on it. Yeah, they're gonna have to use some utility to stop them from running out. Yeah. That's if they even notice it. That is it's like a very oh. common thing to do. Yeah, I don't think it's very hard to notice that entire wall getting shotgunned out by Mute, but... Um, yeah, it would have been smarter just leaving like a smaller gap towards the right-hand side of the garage, because normally you won't see that going past unless you go down and check it. Yeah, maybe the strat was to let them know, hey, we're going to do this, make sure you're watching it, just to have a uh, sexy... Uh, sorry, Shadownet's mindset in more places than it needs to be. So you do see an IQ. Yes. So, something Milkman did not use. Which is really interesting. IQ is massively strong on this on this map. Because you can just see, from outside, you can just about see all of the map on your scanner. Um, from either side. So, being able to scan that much of the map. Uh, and there we go. We see the Nomad looking at the garage. Holding yes, it. Yes, holding it. Making sure that no one runs out. Interestingly though, that buck opened up uh, that top uh, in that top wall from Skylight, Yellow Skylight, um, before they had the IQ on this rappel here, so Mozzie was able to escape without any repercussion or fear of being cut off by the IQ. Was that Ooh. the wall in the cubby fully reinforced? Uh, I believe the left one was left soft. That's interesting, that's an a reinforcement. They probably just want to stop them angles. Yeah, absolutely. And that's Ag uh, Aegis' second... Oh no, his drone's still alive. Um, but Spade's low, it's... Time's really ticking down. With no one in the building on it, on uh, Shadownet's side, they're really going to have to make a move now. They need so to get... They've got the fundamentals, they've cleared piano, they've made sure no one's running out of garage. They just need to execute now. They've done all your prep work. Now they just need to get on the site. Yeah, the problem is they've got no smokes to cover or repel in. And with a shotgun peeking out, taking out the buck, um, it's going to be very difficult. Age is getting the refrag onto Lyric, though. Fax shutting it down. And Muddy picking it up, making it a 2v4. Very difficult position for Shadownet to be in with no one in the building and both on this CEO window, all four guns can be aimed at this one uh, set of windows. Tempest just missing the shots there, and with 15 seconds left to go. Okay. Looks like we'll go to a rehost. Alright. Uh, so one team's called a rehost. So Milkman didn't do anything flashy then, they just. Pretty much just stuck on site, held, they waited, they gave Shadownet heaps of control, Shadownet took the control. Then Shadownet just didn't know how to get on site. They had the buck, they could have went below and played some vertical. Yep. Didn't happen. They, yeah, they, they, let, they let Shadownet have control and Shadownet just didn't know what to do with it. Absolutely. We'll just keep chatting while we get this rehost done. Um... So, Rehost, do you reckon it's going to benefit Shadownet, or...? Ah, uh, I think it's... Milk. It can only do good for Milkman at this point. I think Milkman really need to, um... Regroup. They won that round because Shadownet just didn't enter the building. Um, I think if Shadownet was... Yeah, I, I, I feel that round, if Milkman didn't win it, Shadownet lost it. Yeah, absolutely. And what we'll do is, we'll, just while we rehost, we might... Uh, take it to a quick break um, and have a bit of music playing while we get this organized back up. Enjoy the music while we get going. i 
so we're back. Three, four. Now, probably going to see a bottom hold and mirror, please. Someone play the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden's still waiting for his two mirror strats. I, I am. Oh, shit. I forgot the bands. Oh, well, rehosting. Who was it? <laughs> um. <laughs> Who was the bands? Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> Just uh, I. It, it was... was one of them. Uh, Echo, Valk, Echo, BB, and Thatcher. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. <laughs> Good quality. Uh, <laughs> <casting here. laughs> yes, we've, we've got the highest. Only the highest quality. We fail PLM. And again, with no mirror. Yeah. I, I want it's, to see a mirror. <laughs> I'm coming short. Seven rounds played. We got five to go, provided there's no OT. OT uh, which could be a possibility, seeing that the first half went 3 3. Um, but we're going to be seeing. Um, it's sort thermite. of a similar hold from what Shadow Net were yeah. playing. Yeah. Yeller in bathroom. Mute to help. Jaeger the hell. The Legion in play. I, I, I do still see a lot of Legion play, even though he's been nerfed quite a bit. Yeah, I still think I still think he's very strong. Like I think he's he's one of those ults that even though it doesn't do the damage, it's just the intel that it gives. Um Well he does and he also has impact. Impacts do help a lot. Absolutely. They've got IQ, they've got the Thermite, they've got the Flank Watch and the Nomad. Shadownet seem poised, and they've already entered the building, uh, which is really the first task of any attacking team, which they didn't do last time. Um, yeah, they're very aggressive this time. They've taken top floor control, they know they've got top floor control. Hmm. They're looking to go down the stairs now. Maybe apply a little bit of vertical into that bathroom. Yeah, Aegis doing plenty of all the drone work from spawn. Um... IQ thinking she's jackal there for a second, but those aren't scannable footprints. Um, <laughs> we'll be seeing the thermite rotate as he um, looks like spawned in the wrong spot. But uh, he, might, he might spawn there and just that stay on drone. Possibly. Um, but either way, well, with that person playing close on yellow. Luckily that door's not open. The person gets called out in Zulu though. Um, and with one in bathroom, they'll be sh looking to collapse on this Ella as quickly as possible as they only have a minute and a half. With only half of, over half of the round gone, uh, Ella's pushing out into airlock. Are we, gonna, uh, are we gonna see a repeat of last round? They take all the control then do nothing with it? Uh, possibly. They see the explosion though, and Zofia just doesn't have the person there to help. And Ella just makes the da mad dash for the hatch. Spades though, and Fax shutting down Aegis and Tempest. This is looking like it's going direct, swiftly in the hands of Sexy. But with three alive, they've still got their thermite, so they can still get the main wall open uh, if they decide to get these K charges off. So, like, what I was talking about before with that Ella, she didn't take the gunfight, she wasted time as soon as she felt like she was getting pressed, uh, pressured, she just dipped out. Wasted yeah. enough time. That's all you have to do. Dangerous spot to be droning there, Buck. But, in a 3v5, you need big kahunas. Oh, we gonna see another hatch drop. Oh, and it, but it works yep. for the Buck. Shuts down one, picks up the second. Oh no, not quite. Muddy picks up three frags and it becomes a 3v1. This 3v1 lineup seems to be a recurring factor in this game. But trying to pick up one, but it's impactless as the mute shuts it down to end the round. So they had a buck and uh, maybe less communication. They also had the IQ. No one got hmm. the cage charges. Yeah, I mean. If you're gonna bring the IQ, use the utility. It seems um, rather self-explanatory, I, I imagine. Oh so, yeah, again, um, yeah, they, they take all the control. 
yeah. very quickly, but then they don't use their utility to their pressure site. Absolutely. They What they really needed is that first minute, take top and start pressuring second. Second minute, take off, take second, uh, first floor, and uh, take off those K charges and get that wall open. And then final minute, you've got to push on to site. And if you're Defense lagging behind off, that kind of schedule, like you really find yourself very quickly in a position where it's difficult to come back. Attackers have located Looks like... We got Milkman bringing a lobby hold. I don't think we saw Shadownet do lobby at all. No, Shadownet stuck to the top and the bottom, and then they, I believe, went to a, um, Tellers. For... No, we're, we're definitely seeing a lot more Tellers in play over the last two or three months. Yeah, absolutely. So, I think... So back, like, four months ago, no one really played Tellers? Yeah. Well, I think the problem is, is that, ev like, every new site, every new map, it, there's a period in which Five it's just very difficult to hold. Um, and the defense has a lot more utility now, too. To like, the with the Goya, you can do a lot more extended hold. Saber going for a spawn peak here. Could, can he see the person that's spawned here? No. But the players don't have the outlines that we have. Ooh. Even though that we saw. The angle being spotted out by the person. So they had two people spawn peeking, the dock and the vigil. It's very risky. So that just, just told me that Spex and Milkman have a lot of uh, confidence right now. They're playing with a lot of confidence. Absolutely. They, they, they back themselves to win these gunfights. And that's mostly about 80% of the, of the battle is just... Having the confidence and successfully winning those gunfights. Because after all the strategy, after everything's dealt with, Siege is ultimately a 5v5 first person shooter. Where the first team to have to kill all five enemies wins. So we're seeing a lot passive, well, a lot more passive from Shadownet now. It's taken them a minute before they've even entered the building. Yeah, they so need. They need to be a bit quicker on this uh, take. They're lagging behind. Oh. They know that there's a legion in meeting. Also, Zofi is getting ready to entry on him. So the reason they're so slow this time, Spades with the mute. He pretty much muted off all the badmen, so they could not drone him. So it took him, a, took Shadownet a lot longer to enter, so they just didn't have the intel. Zofia getting shut down now by the person in connector. Getting refragged though by the buck. IQ shutting down the vigil. Although Buck is now injured out on the counter. Aegis though putting it to a 2v4 if Buck can get picked up. So if you've got the man advantage, they have top floor control. Now they have to decide where they want to plant. Is it Snipe? Piano or Bobby? Yeah. Absolutely, and this is this is the critical moment because they don't have a ton of time to decide. But with the person pushing up, mute it seemed up spiral stairs. Um, they're really gonna have to make a decision quick. Doc getting shut down in uh, circle desk, making it a one v four. This is just about an impossible situation for the mute. He's off site. They know where he is. And they're just going to be looking to enter on Circle Desk. Getting plant down goes the Hibana. And the IQ shuts it down. Putting Shadownet to a 5-5 situation. So yeah, it, so they slowed it, they, well, they slowed up this time Shadownet. And they waited for Sexy Milkman to get a little bit anxious, well, a bit more aggressive. Milkman started peaking them a little bit, losing gunfights. And... Shadownet just played off it. Yeah, absolutely. I think... Uh, <laughs> I think Spades might have forgot that the Echo is not allowed to be played. Mm -hmm. Good boy. <laughs> there we go. So we've got no, no issues coming out. Um... Sorry, I didn't mean uh, that round took us to a 4-5 split. Um, 
Which yeah, is we saw a different play from Shadownet there. Normally we saw them aggressive take, like, take control, then they just don't know what to do with the control. Yeah. They just lose that over time. This time we saw them slow it down a little bit. They took the control a little bit more passive. Then they just saw the cracks in Milkman's defense. Then they just took advantage of it. Yeah, absolutely. And it'd be interesting to see. I highly doubt we see any spawn beasts coming out this round. As, um... Sexy just, I, I think that that could have, if Sexy aren't careful, that could take the wind out of their sails. Lyric thinking better of putting um, an ADS in that box there. Rather preferring to put one uh, on the yellow stairs. Sabre though, going for a pistol. Peak. Not going to get any damage though onto Shadow Net. Interestingly, Shadownet, both teams today have really spawned a diverse area, all the spawns around the building. They haven't had a clear uh, admin take or a clear um, specific push that they've been doing so much. Shadownet did two rounds ago, um, but it seems that people, they spawn all around the building and then pro pod prod and poke at the at the strat and see if they can find a gap and then once that gap is found they look to it uh utilize and play Between on it the, uh, claymores out they're expecting me to jump out you see yep well they know we haven't, we haven't seen a jump out yet though nah always best safe than sorry but it sounds like spade uh who was that? that that sounded like a fact to me um, yes. Yeah, I, I couldn't really tell, but yeah, Buck is very heavy tagged right now. Is it nice angles coming in from the Legion? Yes. It's going to be difficult to see that Buck winning any more gunfights with such low health. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that angle the Legion is playing right now. Mm -hmm. If someone was on the console repel, I don't think he could be using that angle. No, you can't. I'm pretty sure that that angle gets shut down by console fairly. Fairly. C4 coming out a bit too early to take out Aegis. But the admin take is coming out in full force now. So, this round has taken two minutes before Shadownet even really yeah. entered the building. They ran through the main lobby and wasn't, didn't work out the best for them. Exactly. And now Aegis is entering, but he doesn't see the person into the kitchenette there. And that, and the mute there picks up the first kill. Droned out. Mute MP5 also. Yeah. And Spades pick up a second on the mute before Zofia gets shut down, making it a two v five with zero, with one drone left on the part of um, Sniper. But Sniper's not even in the building with fifteen seconds to go. Neither are. And there's at this point, uh, Sniper's just entered Visa. And fact shuts down Tempest, but it's little to nothing that uh, Sniper can do here. She's getting shot in the back and shut down by the mute. Oh, yeah. So I think we're seeing. So Milkman are definitely playing this mute, and like if he did it the same he did last time, he just pretty much muted off all of uh, con or admin office, and it slows Shadow Net down. They can't drone it, they don't have the intel, it takes them a lot more time, and they're just. Yeah. So, it, fr from my understanding, Shadownet is a very drone, intel heavy team. Hmm. Absolutely. And Milkman look like they've done their research on that. They're playing the mute, they have the mozzie, and they're just draining them from all the intel they can possibly get. Yeah, they're, they're just shutting down that intel, and as soon as Shadownet can't enter the building, it's very difficult, very difficult for Shadownet to come back. Um, yeah, we, we saw that two minutes in, and they'll only just swinging into admin yeah and so even then and, and it was rebuffed quickly because they didn't have the intel um, to back up the push but interesting here we've got the vigil we've got the mute we've got the mozzie it almost looks like an ssg type strat uh, i think i think this is just going to be a very extended hold very very extended hold with mute and mozzie going to top floor yeah they're going to mute 
Muzzy, all the top floor. You trying to get Tempest drone here? If Shadownet played the same they did last round, and try and clear that top floor, I reckon it's just not going to work well for them. Yeah. At they this need point, to, they need to pick up the their heavy offside and go for like a yellow door straight rush on the side. Although it's interesting, they seem to have set up all their anti drone and are falling back to site. Yeah, so that's just a time wasting again. Yeah, expecting Shadow Net to take a minute and a half, two minutes to clear top floor, and there's no one up there. Saber looking for the pick, but no one spawned there, luckily, for Shadow Net. They've punched a whole bunch of barricades on top floor and are just looking to. Um, do what they can to get it to waste time on that top floor you see the thermite and iq working together to get this wall open very quickly there we go it looks like shadow net are just ignoring top floor this time yeah not buying into that new mozzy top floor at all which is interesting because now i believe yeah vigils top floor so that could be dangerous if they don't have their flanks watched effectively by nomad but Nomad's gonna shut down the mute. Uh, where was that? I think that was on top of yellow near drinks. Top of yellow? Oh, near soda. Ah, oh, okay. Oh no, it was just in, in airlock here. You see Lyric refragged as he pushes up yellow because the IQ hadn't opened up the yellow door. It's dangerous that, and Vex shuts down the buck. Pet, pet thing I hate. A lot of teams that I've seen recently, they don't just open the doors. Same mm. with just like on Clubhouse with the garage door. Yeah. Just open it. It open doesn't it. hurt you but to open it. Yeah. I mean, someone pushing back into Piano, Ashley's going to have to take this gunfight one on one. She has the intel, but she has a drone. Oh, unless that's a mozzie drone. I think that's a mozzie drone. Yep, that's a mozzie drone. Ash is yep. looking to shut it down. And this is the problem, is when you ignore that top floor, but um, don't have the flank watch, you just get pinched off from behind. Shadownet though, going for a plant. Shut down by Sexy, sexy Milkman, and that's the game. GG's to everyone uh, involved. Uh, yeah, GG's Milkman? Yeah, Milkman. Spade showing up uh, in that second bit, but... That's big. That leaves Sexy Milkman with one more enemy tomorrow night, which will be casting here again uh, for a chance to take top f position going into the finals. Um, yeah, so it just seems like Milkman did a little bit of studying before the game. Yeah. They saw the Shadownet a very drone slash intel heavy team. Absolutely. And all Milkman did was just make sure that they couldn't drone get no intel, then Shadownet just crumbled. Yeah, for sure. I think Shadownet really need to work on entering the building and making sure that their attacks work together as a team. They were just poking and prodding for too long. They need to work as a team to define a push and get on it before the end of prep phase. That prep phase is to know where you're going to push. Um, but other than that, I think... Sexy did a really good job at reading their opponent and knowing how they were going to push and playing into that. But besides that, thanks for everyone that jumped in chat um, and thanks for everyone that showing interest in this league um, with LPL um, not casting it properly. It's left to us community casters to get the content out there and to get the teams that deserve to be shown. Um, to the community uh, to be shown. Um, so thanks to everyone who's shown up. Uh, I've got a community casters Discord if anyone's interested in helping us out uh, in getting these teams recognized in the community. Um, go ahead and jump in that Discord in the link below and we'll get you organized with casting for the LPL Amateur. Uh, Such so that, thanks for everyone that hopped in. We'll see you tomorrow night with Sexy Milkman taking on 7th Heaven. Good night. That's going to be an interesting game. Absolutely. I'm, I'm hyped for it, man. It's going to be good. Thanks. Yeah.